just was very, very happy to be here. Um, and, and he's hungry to improve and, and, and wants to get better each day. He brings a great attitude and work ethic into the um, into the building on the floor. And he just he just wants to improve every day. So it's been fun working with him so far. What have you seen from Justin Champagne getting to work with him and just his growth since getting in the organization? Um, he, he's been great, um, great attitude. I think you see a pattern with the uh, the people that come into our building in terms of who they are as people. And then when they come on the court, they're um, they're motivated, they want to improve, they want to get better, they're receptive to coaching. And so it, that makes it easy. How has JD looked and how has he improved as well? Um, J, JD's been great. Um, he's, he is um, embracing being more vocal, embracing um, taking ownership of the team and, and directing his teammates and where they need to be and what they need to do. And that'll, I think, continue to be something that he works on because he's by nature quiet. But I, I think he's uh, embracing the, um, the the point guard, that aspect of the point guard position. And it's something he'll continue to work on as well as the other um, you know, parts of his game that, that he's motiv motivated to improve on. Is there a directive from Brad and Joe to work with Jordan and JD like in a specific way like what's the plan for those guys over these next couple of years? Uh, um, the general plan is for them to improve um, and and um, take advantage of the minutes and the responsibility and the role that they have that obviously is different than what JD had during the season um, and and continue to sharpen you know they JD has things, Jordan has, will have things, and, and for Jordan it's a great opportunity to step in into a, to a role that highlights him and showcases him and just taking advantage of minutes, taking advantage of uh, role and, and uh, shots and opportunities to, to impact the game. With Jordan, what do you think is a role that kind of highlights him right now? I mean, when you, when you see him, you, you just see a guy who, uh, who has length, who has uh, athleticism, and trying to um, encourage him to impact the game in a lot of different ways. On the ball, he can he can have an opportunity to impact the ball defensively, off the ball with his length and passing lanes, uh, rebounding the ball, pushing it in transition, um, being athletic at the rim and, and making great reads on drives and, and on finishes, whether to shoot it or pass it. So for him, it's exciting because you see a lot of different things on the court where he can make his impact, um, imprint and impact the game. And I think for a young player, that's that's exciting because it doesn't put pressure on him to do one thing. Like when you have a guy like that with a, with a wide uh, variety of, of skills and ways that can impact the game, I think it's exciting because it's not just one thing. They can, they can be all over the court, so that's exciting. You've been a part of a overhaul coaching staff before. Um, what are the keys of kind of working with new guys, building that relationship with the other coaches um, as the regular season comes, and just with all the new faces in the building? I mean, I think this is a is a great environment to do that in, to, to be with um, young guys who just are, I mean, they're all so excited to be here and um, looking forward to their opportunity, whether it's people who've been in our organization, like JD and Justin, um, people who have players who have been in Maine and are given an opportunity, like Kamar and, um, and uh, Reggie, or guys who are just, you know, they've been pros and, and they're coming to the Celtics and it's an opportunity for them to showcase themselves. We have people who are joining us from all different places in their career and on, on their uh, journey and on their path, and they're all excited to be here and they're receptive to coaching, they're ready to work. So for us as a staff, it, it, uh, it's easy to come in here and work with those guys and then we get to get to know one another better and try some things that uh, maybe we will be able to apply to the season but regardless of, of, the, of the content we have um, a group that that is really excited about being here and wants to improve every day and so that gives us opportunity as staff to put our heads together and, and come into the to the gym each day with a plan and bring energy onto the court of, of how we're going to help these guys get better. When these guys are out there like learning and all this, there's going to be a lot of failure. Right. 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 What's your role in making sure these guys keep their confidence up, to keep uh -huh. trying things, knowing that maybe eventually it's going to pay off? Yeah. I mean, we're they they're going to fail, and we're going to fail too as a staff. Like we're not going to do everything right, make every play call right. Um, 
every game plan is not going to be perfect. But I, that's the thing that I, I told them earlier is like we are we are excited to to be here to work with you to invest in you and uh, we can't guarantee how many minutes you'll play or how many points you'll score, but we can guarantee that everybody from a staff perspective is totally um, totally focused on helping you improve so that when you reflect on your time with, with the team and you reflect on your summer league experience, whether it's the 16th, the 17th, whenever we're done, you're going to feel confident that you're a better player than when you came in the door and you're going to know that you were around a, a group of people from a staff standpoint that really poured into you and really invested in you and were um, dedicated to helping you improve. And then from a player perspective, we're trying to create an environment so where everybody understands the value of being a good teammate and celebrating their teammate success and um, being happy for them, whether it's a, a made shot or, or, or a great play or as a team we win a game, but we're trying to create an environment where we're celebrating success and um, we're, we're happy for one another. And the same applies to you too, he's, he's trusting you this opportunity to be a head coach mm -hmm. in this situation. What do you take out of this opportunity? I'm, I'm just trying to take full advantage of it and um, um, enjoy kind of seeing a different side of coaching than I do during the season, but also I think it's an opportunity for me to um, be in a better position to help Joe. Um, I think that's for me and that's for all of us. Um, the great thing about Summer League is it allows players and staff to kind of do something that is a little bit different what you do than what you do during the season, but ultimately the, the goal for everybody is to be, a, be better for the franchise if, if everybody improves a little bit and the franchise improves, um, whether that's staff, whether that's players, um, in any staff position, you know, whether it's physio, weight room, um, coaching staff, we're all like, that's that's one of the things that I think um, from the front office, they do a good job of, of, of emphasizing everyone. Like we're all a part of this, that the job that I do on the staff is as just as important as the job that they do upstairs in the kitchen. It's just as important as the job that they're doing in the training room, in the weight room. Like, we're all part of pouring into these guys and helping them be prepared when they step onto the court to, to play at their very best. And when they step off the court to know that they're supported and um, they're, they're valued so that you know, all, of, all of that leads to, it's not just what we do during the practice time that impacts when and when the lights come on. Like, it's, it's a holistic process. And that's the great thing about it for this portion of the season and this portion of Summer League and where these guys are in their journey is that um, we get to be a part of it. And it's going to hopefully the goal is that we're all better when the season starts and in a better position to uh, to win games and try to do something special. How do you like being up here in front of the media? Well, I told you I have so many cameras, I didn't know which, I didn't know which one to look at. Uh, but, but no, it's, 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 it's a cool experience just to be a part of this organization. And for right now, like these guys are, are stepping into their dream. And to have an opportunity to be a part of that and to like when they reflect on, like when they, when they reflect on where they are and what they're doing and you get to be a part of that, like for me, that's the coolest thing because um, while it, like, it's a business and, and while it's a high-pressure situation, it's, it's, refresh, it's 